Good afternoon, guys. My name is Sister Ray. I will be commentating this in-person Hall Losses race. Between Andrew and French I named John, with whom I'll, I'll just call John for short. Uh, I'm supposed to be joined by a guy average on commentary, but uh, he's not present so far. So I'll try to, uh, I'll, I'll introduce a category. In person, any person, all bosses. The goal is to be every single boss of Super Metroid and finish the game. So uh, as opposed to your regular any person category, this category actually beats Cro Crocomire, Golden Torizo, and there's one more that, uh, oh, oh uh, Sports Park, yeah, duh. Croc, GT, and Sports Park are the, are the victims of this category. And um, there are obviously strat differences that will, that will show up uh, along the way. As opposed, to, as opposed to a regular any percent. And uh, in particular, this category has multiple routes that the run runners can choose. Uh, two main ones are the plasma route, so-called plasma route, and spacer route. The plasma route is theoretically yeah, faster, I'd say about 30 seconds, uh, is what I gauge from the theoretical. And I do think it's the plasma route is slightly more difficult and uh, flashy. And, uh, so, so sorry, I mean, the spacer route is slightly more difficult and flashy, and the plasma route is uh, probably safer to, uh, to run, and it's fast, so I would expect both runners to take the plasma route. Um, plasma, but, plasma route also has yeah. a lot more optimizations in it, um, like a lot of hidden uh, tech that a lot of people might overlook. You know, you could save a couple of frames here and there with uh, space jump and screw attack, which you don't have in the spacer route. And then that's true, huh? That's true. Not much to say here in Ceres. Uh, they're probably going to be aiming for... I'm probably 45 more plus escape time. The real question is, why isn't uh, Ceres really a part of all bosses? <laughs> oh, good, 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 good one. I, 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 I'm sure there's a there's a flag associated with Ridley's death. Um, but you know, you know, we, we don't ask that. Uh, 52 entering second to the Astro, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Andrew gets the D-boost, looking like uh, 55 45. for both runners, I think. Oh, 46. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Andrew gets a no 46. 46 is always good to get. Obviously, a John falling behind by 0.6 seconds there, that's not insurmountable. Yeah, category of this thing. Yeah. The cool thing about this category is like there's a lot more ammo and E tanks that you can pick up for safeties and it won't lose you as much time as it would in any percent. Because they're right in the way alongside like, you know, you have to kill all the bosses anyway, so there's a lot of supers and E tanks that you can pick up. And, and in particular I, I I just I recently learned that uh Early supers in this category may or may not be the the first super pack you get because you can technically, if you are fighting sports bomb first, um, which I think is a characteristic with the spacer route, then you actually, you actually, you can actually choose to pick up the the sport the intended super missile packs as your first super missile. So that, that's always interesting. Right. Yeah, um, but then the two round would be a lot harder. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, but we'll talk about that later. So John was a, a side behind uh, due to Ceres, but he actually has Moonwalk on, so he can do that Moonfall. Uh, allowing him to just pull ahead of Andrew. Yeah, it saves about six seconds in that room alone. Six? Wow, that's that's huge. Yeah, <laughs> that's more, a lot. more than I expected. Wow. So this uh, beginning sequence, not not much to not much to talk about. Um, gonna grab morph ball, grab first pack of missiles, and allow the tank to to wake up. But the movement here is actually like, slightly, I say slightly to still to optimize. Like John, like both of them went for the down back strat there, but John's like had a small hiccup, so didn't, didn't quite go, didn't quite get all the way down. So these. Uh, seemingly un in uninteresting rooms are actually like they all, all have text to them. In fact, I, I think like all all most rooms in Super Metroid like 
Nearly all of them are non-trivial. Right, yeah. There's there's lots of optimizations that can go into any room. You're probably always losing a few frames. Exactly. And from here, after they come back from the elevator, is where the, the run gets really hard. A series of few rooms. They both, um, not even going for the, the D boost track, which is once again faster, but very difficult. But they both had pretty good pit rooms, and there comes a climb. Oh yeah, John does a uh, ledge grabbing. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Cool to see. Um, the ledge grab, ledge grab climb. Correct me if I'm wrong. I hear it's one second slower. Uh, I mean, but, probably maybe for humans, yeah. but like, you can yeah, get yeah, ledge yeah. grabbing. You can get ledge grabbing really good. Like you're only on the ground for like a second, and then you jump again if you do frame perfect jumps, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Many room strategies will be different for virtual runner, just because um, there are a lot of uh, there, there's a lot of freedom in how you control your movement. Both of them getting a sub five bombs, which is expected. This bomb Terizo fight is actually, I think, uh, I think is the hardest. I feel it's like the hardest mini boss uh, to to fight completely correctly. Maybe, maybe bottom, but so both yeah. neither of them getting the one yeah. round uh, quite tricky because you have to collect GT's, uh, BT's drops in a way that you don't exhaust all of them, all the animals on screen because they want to refill halfway. Really, it's just like half skill and then half drops because you could always just get screwed over by. Uh, BT not giving you the right missile drop, stuff like that. A pretty uh, similar Terminator stress for both runners, where they do. Uh, I think they, they both box the door and just hold a uh, whole shot and angle down for the, the remainder of the room. This is actually one of the. That, that the strategy they, they did is very consistent and makes the room free, but you can, if you want, you can make that room very, very hard. If you really try to optimize, right? Like you could arm pump, actually. Yeah, Both yeah. Okay, both runners uh, shooting out the green pirates. This is to conserve health. A typical, a typical strategy in any person near route. And this basically means they will be. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're probably going to do Fantoon first, both of them. Uh, John takes a hit now. Okay, now this is RNG. Oh. Uh, okay, oh. well, well he, he, yeah, uh, he, he, he is lucky. He is lucky. Yeah, I've been in that room before so, where you accidentally take a hit and then you're trying to get drops and none of the bugs give you drops, so you have to reset pretty much. Uh, just just uh, ride the elevator again. <laughs> yeah. Lose you like a minute. This is their uh, first uh, super pack, uh, first set of super pack missiles. Um, they probably won't be fights. Actually, I, I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, you can you can actually Spicy. opt to yeah you can actually opt to skip this uh, this pack in this particular category if you fight sports sportsman first. It's just a it's like it's a common uh, common early super strat. Both of them going now, so no yeah. early sportsman. Yeah, it looks like they're both gonna do a hybrid route, most likely. Yeah, and uh, as a guy Andrew was talking about earlier, uh, if you if you choose to fight sports mod early, it's not only is it slower, uh, not only is a fight slower, but it's also uh, very non-trivial compared to uh, having plasma. Right. Also, uh, yeah. first, uh, also, Andrew got the, the up, up and two, so that's pixel perfect. Pretty cool. It's not that hard. Well, uh, it's, it's cool you see. It's cool you see. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth movement. Kill zones are pretty standard rooms. Uh, John does that. Yeah, there's a two pixel window to shoot that gate and do the deeds John did. And both of them, uh, at least uh, two pixels going up. Red tower. Uh, two, two pixel window. Two pixel uh, window. I never felt that tight, to be honest. 
This, yeah, I mean, I mean, if a sinus isn't a vertical speed, if sinus vertical speed is at all, then two pixel window can be like five frames, I suppose. And both of them getting good red power climbs. No, uh, uh, no, no hiccups. I know, I know John hates uh, climbing red power with high jumpers, so only makes sense if he does this route. Yeah. No, uh, John loves doing Fantoon first. He'll do Fantoon first anything, even if it might turn out to be slower. And uh, Andrew farming some power bombs and, I'm uh, sorry, um, super missiles and heading up. You need a minimum, minimum four to, well, you need a minimum three to just get to Fantoon and uh, assuming you super the, the Ghidorah. And, since they are doing, they're actually doing Doppler strats. Uh, you probably want to have a super for Fan, uh, in case Fan Two doesn't drop you any supers, so you can yeah. do the two round. Three round is pretty free if you Doppler. You only have to Doppler um, three missiles or something like that. Well, Andrew is coming up. Well, they are both coming up to the mold section, the mold room, which is ah uh, okay. He. So Andrew actually didn't go for the CWJ set, CWJ setup. He I think he opted for the bomb jump because he didn't choose to bomb the door. But this bomb jump, let's see if he gets it. Nice. That's 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 way harder than it. Well, it's not too hard, but it's much harder. Than it. Yeah, like John yeah. likes to say, it's hard to learn, but easy to master. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, the ocean strikes again. Just classical Super Metroid. After you pass the most, the ocean just. Uh, dumps you at the at the dip of your confidence. So yeah, they're gonna have some wetsuits after <laughs> that. Yeah. So John going for a bomb jump horizontal. Oh, okay. John makes a cross, but Andrew uh, gets struck gets struck twice. Let's go for John ahead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, so your intent. So in in, in your category yeah. with speed boosters, crossing the ocean is really. Tr really nothing, but um, with yeah. with the bare minimum especially, equipment, it's actually like the, yeah, yeah, the especially with kind of speed, tight. speed and high jump, yeah. But yeah, these jumps are pretty tight. You have to jump like pretty much last frame, and then you actually have to you can't hold jump or else you'll bonk like that top thing. So the jumps are pretty particular. Right, right. But, uh, so jump also has society, but this is a. This is, I, I say this is the the, uh, the one place where you can die in this category. I, I, I guess a uh, shift. I, I mean, early wreck shift. Uh, you, right, you can't yeah. die in early shift. Yeah, pretty much once you get gravity, I think you're you're solid. Let's let's uh, let's see them make this phantom fight look easy. This is this fight. If you're not if you're not uh, used to it, or if you're not practiced with the patterns, it's very it's very dangerous. Ooh, right fast for uh, yeah. Andrew. So the fast patterns, so so the Fantoon can open uh, its eye in uh, three different timings for each round. Uh, of course, the faster it opens the eye, it's oh, oh dude, look at that doctor. Um, so 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 uh, the faster it opens up its eye, it's a uh, good for speed runs. But uh, sometimes uh, that means you have little time to refill your resources. So they are right. so it can be tricky. Um, they are using a strategy called Doppler. Okay, that, that was close for Andrew. Yeah. Okay, he, that was okay, a three round, round, I think. Oh. It was uh, fast, fast, slow, I think, or maybe fast, mid, slow. I don't remember the patterns, but uh, they're using a strategy called Doppler. So, Fantoon usually, after, uh, you, you can only shoot three missiles per round, uh, me, uh, five missiles for each round of Fantoon if you space them. Wait, jump, jump might. <laughs> okay, he. Uh, that, that was really close for John, but uh, he, he survives too. Yeah. So they were it's... trying to get... Yeah, go ahead. But yeah, so it's just... Um, you do two missiles, and then another two missiles after Fantoon cools down. And then when he comes back around, you're trying to fit in six. And then the second round, you want to fit in five and then a super. And there's like a rhythm to it. Yeah, you kind of want to... Yeah. Uh, I mean, you it's 300 uh, beat per minute, but... I can be wrong. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, like the actual B per minute or whatever, but you kind of want as little time as possible between the missiles, like hitting Fantoon. 
this room, this room and just coming up called the attic. Um, you'll see these kinds of rooms uh, from uh, from time to time, but you have to kill all the enemies in the room to proceed. Uh, he missed uh, a, a few supers and some missiles, but that was pretty solid. Uh, if you if you uh, if you choose to mothball to the right, there's a the, the, the power strat they're using is pretty standard. If you, if you choose to mothball to the right and uh, fire a missile uh, directly up to the atomic like John is doing right now, then the then, then it's actually not a the strat isn't too bad. Yeah, but there's a faster strat you could do where you actually unmorph and missile that atomic sooner and um, then you have to get through like an electricity in the floor before the power bomb light gets out or something or else you get hit and that one's much tighter. Oh, okay. Oh, so, 13 health. Yeah, so um, the this spike room um, with, with, with their equipment, it's actually not too bad to get across. You can take three hits. After, you can, after you get across in two, maybe, maybe John can show us. Let's see. Takes one hit, takes two, and with some yeah, armor. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, so it's um, not. He, he took the hit. It's hits, not that tricky, But you can also de boost off the spikes as well. And uh, that kind of like pushes you forward if you do the deboost in a specific way and it's in my opinion it's a lot safer because you can get past with two hits only I say it's safer but you know you know that the deboost is actually it's, it's almost somewhat specific too so just just some strat yeah. choices that i'm sure making but that after that room and, and some crabs in this uh, in the next room for andrew they should be they should not die uh, at least I hope not. The stream is lagging a little bit. Pseudo screw. I didn't see what happened. I didn't see what the strat uh, Andrew chose for that room, but uh, at least uh, he, he survived. Always oh, pseudo screw. <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense. So. After this, they will be heading to, I believe, Upper North End? Yeah. Right. Um, some people might do Kraid. That would be slower, but I don't know. At least you get a refill on the supers and E-Tanks. Yeah, the cool uh, thing about this like hybrid route is you don't really have to worry about health and ammo management in wreck ship because uh, there's like two E-Tanks in your way, and then you fight Kraid, and the mini Kraids give you supers, so... Um, it you can really just rush uh, wreck ship as aggressively as you want. So John, oh, oh John, sorry, John's just firing a power bomb. I didn't, I didn't quite know what he was doing there. Yeah, so ammo management and health management, management, management like GA just said, are are something very special about Super Metroid. Um, you're the runners will be looking for a particular amount of ammo and health for each segment. Uh, for each uh, for each section, and they might have to just refill or change up their stress if they if the if the conditions don't align. Those those decision makings will always be were always really cool to see. So Andrew, well, Andrew coming down to Upper North there to pick up. Uh, in particular, they will be looking to pick up high jump boots, speed booster, and uh, wave beam. And then they will probably get to either Cradle or Dragon, depending on their uh, yeah. their route choices. But these upper, these major upgrades uh, will make their life much easier. See Meridia. They can technically go to Meridia now. Uh, well, assuming they pick up at least one of Speed Rooster or or um, or Ice Beam, but uh, fighting the boss will be very slow. Right. So Andrew tried to skip that missile by jumping over it uh, because uh, off. You can, if if he had a power bomb, he would probably just go the way out, the same way out. But uh, he didn't, so he wanted to just jump over that missile. Unfortunately, he picked it up. So that's. Uh, I mean, uh, you can take the you can take the path underneath and then just uh, do like a bomb strat, bomb jump, break the blocks underneath. You do that in like KPDR if you're trying to do a 15 missile route. Yeah, but honestly, picking up that. 
missile tag, why would it use... Okay, so, so, so John is using a, a parlum strat because he didn't open the, the gray gate on the gray door on the first path in, but uh, the, the item, the missile bag that Andrew picked up, uh, he didn't want to pick it up because uh, I, I could tell by, by the way he moved, but it's actually not that big of a time loss because animals always will always end up saving your time and eliminating RNG. So it's one of the... It's, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I think that missile only costs him like 10 seconds. It's pretty much right in the way. But the thing is, they already had 15 missiles, so now they, they're at 20. He's probably going to try and skip wave missiles now. So Andrew got his speed booster, a very important item. And John about to head to, I think, one of the trickier rooms in Upper North area is this Stubble Mountain. It's tricky yeah. because there you have to perform a rather rather um, rather precise ball jump. To get... Okay, so John is struggling a little bit. Um, that cack attack, that that uh, that plant enemy right there, is very random, and he can just like knock you out, knock you off the edge, and that's uh, many seconds lost. Yeah, hardest boss in the game, King <laughs> Cack. Some some may say yeah. And uh, as GA mentioned, Andrew just skipped the wave missile. Despite him being ahead, I, I don't know if that's... Then skipping that missile really saves little time because you, you have to take a roundabout path to, to uh, dodge it instead of have, uh, being able to just run across it. So he does save a few seconds there, but that's a, a small risky move. Yeah. If you do it right, you can actually get up to the wave door without having to wall jump, um, which is what you would usually do. And in that case, you wouldn't be losing any time. Oh, well, yeah. So, so earlier today in the race, some some runners decided to head down to Croc after this, after uh, picking up the major upgrades. Um, but but you you should see uh, neither runner this race uh, do Croc early because uh, Crocomire is much faster if you fire later with a specific item. Right. Uh, you can just like pretty much melt him with plasma beam and you'll see how that works. It kind of, um, it takes away his invulnerability frames. So he just constantly gets hammered with plasma. And we see, we see Andrew going for, going to craze there. Um, I assume he's going to pick up the, Hmm. The energy tank on the way out. So doing crate early uh, doesn't really it doesn't save any time uh, in terms of movement. And if you do it later, you can actually use the mini crate as a good source of ammo refill. So I I suppose if Andrew's uh, coming here early, then he might be aiming for that uh, crate A tank. Ah, uh, I. Honestly, I don't think so. I think he'll just take Bantu and E-Tank. He has two E-Tanks and he's not really going to take any damage from pretty much anything here. Almost out full. And John on the other hand, he's going to do Dragon second. So that way he can refill. He can refill and then have enough supers for Green Gate glitch to get the GT in a lower Norfair. So what you just saw was the crate quick kill. You, if you if you time your super shots and missile shots correctly, you can kill the boss before it uh, rises off off the ground, saving at least I said 15 seconds at least. It's a pretty basic strat. So. John's actually doing crate first or crate second, <laughs> and that's uh, well that, that that helps us and the viewers because. There will, there's no round divergence, yeah. So we'll 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 know who's ahead for sure. His super count was pretty low, I think, so that's why he opted for that because he wouldn't be able to one round Batoon. But if you get really good sure. super drops coming out of uh, Upper Norfair, then yeah, Dragon second is faster by like a second because you'd have plasma for Kraidzler. So Andrew actually picking. Uh... 
and and actually pick the safety e tank. So you you really only need three e tanks to finish this run, finish this category. We'll finish uh, as Super Metroid uh, without with no major glitches. But um, having a forty e tank in a race setting, especially if you're ahead, it's uh, always a it's always a judicious move. Yeah, you could take a catch-up beam from M Mother Brain with 4E tanks and still survive. Andrew missed the wall jump, but still still gets up. Let's see if he nails this one frame jump. <laughs> nice, that's one frame. The jump that Andrew did is frame perfect. Yeah, honestly, if I was going to take a 4th E tank, I would take the one behind Ridley because then Lower Norfer is much safer. But Andrew might do uh, five E tanks probably, and then he'd be good to go. You see, after Andrew plays a power arm, he wiggles left and right slightly. That's to control the snails moving off screen in a favorable manner, so that they uh, so you, the power arm stack can actually be reduced. So that's another thing that that reduction strats. Well, you'll see uh, a lot more of them much later, but it's a thing in this game. Yeah, over the course of the run, if you save, like, if you do a lot of lag reduction strats, you'll probably save, like, upwards of 10 seconds, probably. This game lags a lot at some points. Uh, so, the, the what you just saw was uh, is a technique called X-Factory. You, uh, when you have Brave Beam and Power Bomb, you can kind of get four particles just, just to spawn out of nowhere and hit enemies, attack enemies with them, but uh, uh, the catch is... Four particles. While they do massive damage, it, all of them need to disappear for uh, for Samus to do engaging any more ammo ammo attacks. So, as you see John do here, this mini boss Batum, you want to have all your particles hit Batum immediately so that you can uh, follow up with ammo to kill one round. Both of them missed it, but um, it's, it's it's pretty finicky. Also, Andrew getting full happy. Nice. It's a pretty. It, it, it used to be very impossible many years ago, but I think now runners just have gotten really, really, uh, really good. Also, Andrew's showing off this uh, spike suit uh, that shenanigan. Uh, that's a two frame window into a one frame trick. Uh, allows you to. No. Allows you to just uh, use a spark anywhere you want. So that's, that was a good opener for Andrew, the Dragon fight. But after the first two, Dragon's patterns are very, very random. So it's hard to get a... Okay, that was... That looks sketchy for a moment, but uh, good, good fight for Andrew. Uh, I think a three... I think a three swoop, that was. Yeah, I think uh, what most runners want to go for, at least I think, is uh, Dragon, you know, you do the opener, and then she goops immediately. And that way you can just fire a couple missiles of super spark and that's it. That's a, that's a one round or two round, I guess you could call it. So after getting Dragon, Andrew got the, the the same trick, the spike suit, which I also need to say two seconds because you can actually move these two rooms. It's, it's only two rooms that you can move fast, um, but these two rooms uh, with spike suit, you can Moving away that with blue suit you cannot save in two seconds. That's I mean that's a lot for two seconds though. So it's, it's a very precise trick to save only two seconds. So this room, Kaka Alley, that was a that was a, that was very solid for Andrew. If you want to push that room really hard, uh, like in some theory tasks, it's it's crazy. Oh yeah, you can get a mock ball into. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that little last part, and it's crazy. It actually is. Oh, Andrew, please, please. Oh. That was, I think that was actually close. So, that was pretty close, yeah. For there is a trick called... Plasma uh, Spark. Plasma Spark, yeah. Uh, you have you have seven or eight. Maybe more. I, no, actually, I think it's, you have 11 frames of uh, leeway compared to tasks. And uh, if you can get the if you can get the shine spark, it saves one second. Also, John had a very nice uh, 
but mainly the time you the time you save from plasma spark is just the uh, the door transition is fixed. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. Because uh, if you don't do the spark, the door is just uh, awful. So John did. Uh, John had some uh, uh, stumble uh, stumble a little bit in the dragon fight, but he had a pretty nice ending, and he got a blue suit to spark back. So dragon is also a pretty is a poss has poss possibility for Samus to die due to that chain damage thing I described earlier. But both runners made it past, so should be pretty safe from here on. And uh, Andrew picked up the plasma beams, and so that's the that's the one uh, major upgrade that really defines this plasma route. That plasma beam uh, really takes uh, makes quick work with with many bosses, in particular Golden Torizo and uh, Sport Spawn. That with uh, which uh, in the other route you actually have to fight with ice wave beam, ice wave spacer yeah i mean you also save like 20 30 seconds on ridley as well because he's the fight so much faster oh yeah sorry sorry i com yeah. completely forgot about ridley yeah just and then, all the yeah. boss fight you have space jump too and you save a lot of seconds in other rooms so all the backtracking you're going to save all that time with uh, plasma and space jump Well, Andrew is going to pick up ice now. This is required to beat the gaming. Uh, uh, well, not required, but it's it's very helpful for that both both damage output as well as Turian much later. And he does a does a very nice strat where he shoots off a few shoots out a few sovas, and if you get have a key movement, you can actually get a debuff off of that last one, which he did. A cool strat. He did mock ball on the way out. <laughs> that mock ball is always kind of weird. Sometimes I, I'm pretty consistent with it, and other times I just miss it all the time. <laughs> the super metro in general, I suppose. Yeah. You have to jump. Uh, so, usually, I think most of the time people jump through that door transition, and that's how you can set it up. I, I imagine Andrew will be fighting Crocomire. Yeah, he has uh, super metal selected, so. This is the perfect time to fight Crocomire since you're going past this, uh, you're going here, if you're in prison here anyway, since you have to go to go north and, and, and take a look at Andrew's screen. Um, with Plasma Beam, Crocomire is, uh, yeah, just the best. Done. Doesn't even stand a chance. Yeah, the only way you could mess this up is if you fire your uh, plasma beam a certain way. You put the shot, and it actually doesn't go through Croc all the way, and his own vulnerability frames like uh, turn off or something. And then you have to fire a second shot. John gets a nice, uh, nice speed ball in that room, and let's see if he gets this trap too. Nice. 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 So just exact same room as Andrew. That's that's uh, that's always a fun, fun little chat. You see. And I suppose Andrew will be just piecing out. Yeah, piece out of the uh, croc area. And it's just really convenient for routing because uh, LA entrance is just to the right. Yeah, and then you get trying. to go through the the best route, southern route. Yeah, you actually think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, southern route's best route. Well, that room that John was just in with a bunch of enemies uh, just jumping around, it is possible to consistently not get any hit uh, from the enemies while running through in a timely manner. But th in that case, the shots will be very precise and. Uh, I think like that's one of the harder rooms in the in the southern route to do completely correctly. Yeah, that one, and then the Croc Speedway. If you're not fighting yeah. Croc, you have to get like a specific space jump so you don't lose any time. But that's what makes it cool. Okay, so so we see Andrew going for the Acid Statue route. Uh, not uh, many runners actually go for will do a green glitch here, but um, to to get to Golden Torizo. 
And, but this route, Andrew's taking, this is the intended way to get to Golden Chorizo. And for all I know, it's about 10 seconds. Uh, it's only about 10 seconds slower compared to getting the Greek fish first try, plus some speed keep strategies in the, in the, in the next room. So this is a very good consistency uh, a route choice that Andrew's doing. Yeah, in a race setting, I would definitely just not do the green gate glitch if I only had five supers like he does. If I had yeah. ten, I might be like, you know, feel a little more confident. But yeah, that acid statue is always a possibility. The green gate route, if you if you end up using all your supers, you basically have to backtrack and go to the acid statue room anyway, which is actually what happened earlier today in the race. And that's just unfortunate when, when that happens. Also go, go, also, go to Rizzo, if you just base, if you just rank enemies uh, based off their uh, combat ability, I feel like going to Rizzo is just un unparalleled. He has so many moves he can throw out. It's very interest, very fun boss to fight. Uh, uh, if not thanks to that uh, that safety spot Andrew used. Yeah, <laughs> if there was really if there hard. wasn't a safety spot, it would definitely be a really hard boss. <laughs> Also, Andrew did uh, in the in the sp screw attack room. Andrew didn't use a shine spark up. Instead, he did a. He said he just uh, used a screw attack to uh, climb up. That's that fixes the door transition and saves a little bit of time. Yeah, so green gate is faster. Here. It's faster, um, but only by ten seconds. About which, uh, which, which is uh, I think which is what John will be doing. So let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, uh, that, okay, that, that was a that, that was scary for uh, for a little bit, but um, as many people call it, uh, bring a good final boss. <laughs> final boss, yes. In that, in this room, uh, Andrew is in. This is this room suffers the most from uh, lag reductions or benefits the most from lag reduction strats by just killing two Kai hunters. You actually get to reduce the room time by three seconds. That's a that's a real time. Mostly because you're using two power bombs, and there are three power hunters that move off off screen, and every additional uh, enemy that moves off screen will add back to power bomb explosion. And for grouping strat for the metal pirates, gets it nicely. See, John might choose to, yeah, so here John chooses to uh, charge a spark, so he's he's gonna spark up, but notice the door, the door actually shifts, gets shifted upwards, and it, it takes the time to come back down. That's, uh, if you do the strat, if you do the room the way Andrew did it, you can save a little bit of, uh, like, 0.5 seconds. Yeah, the, the spark but is, with, like, uh, only, like, yeah, half a second slower, so, yeah. honestly... I think a spark is a little bit more consistent because that space jump up there with screw attack uh, it's, can it's, get a little it's tricky. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really tricky. Fighting Reddy here. Uh, Reddy, I, I feel like it's one of the hardest boss to optimize, even if you're just uh, shooting, even if it's only 20 shots to kill him, just because his, uh, his, he has two separate AIs for Tail and Reddy itself, and it's just it's pretty random how he moves. The optimal room time, the very optimal room time is roughly 40 seconds from going in to coming out. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a tough one, tough one. And also, Andrew not picking up the ready, tank, which is the biggest, well, which is a huge safety. But considering yeah. that he does have superb health, he has really good um, health, so he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't uh, yeah. mess anything too bad. For that energy tank, you're looking at the uh, one extra fanfare and two door transitions adding up to roughly 13 or 12 seconds. And let's see this strat on Andrew's side. This is a very cool strategy. Does a crit uh, damage boost short charge? Oh, that wasn't a short charge. No, he didn't get the first tap. Out there, uh, you have very smooth, uh, a very smooth looking strat, and strat and that speedball saves uh, four seconds there. Really hope John will nail it. John doesn't quite do the grouping strat for Metal Pirates. Uh, that's, I think, four seconds slower, roughly. Uh, but it's very consistent and still, still pretty fast. 
This vertical room Andrew is in right now that he's climbing. All, all vertical rooms in Super Metroid, I feel like they're just so hard to... Uh, especially when you have speed boost and high jump boost, they're just so hard to optimize. Mm, yeah, your, definitely. Your, your jumps, sense jumps really, really quickly. Like the, the initial momentum is really, really large when she has these equipment. So yeah. all vertical rooms, very hard to optimize. You pretty much want to ledge grab and then the next frame jump again and you won't lose any time that way. But it's kind of, you know, for humans, that's pretty difficult to frame perfectly jump every time. Jump fighting ready too. Uh, has some uh, unfortunate pattern. Unfortunate patterns got grabbed once, but uh, um, let's see. Okay, so at least it really cooperates um, and picks John up. Now, uh, Andrew, he apparently forgot to farm a power bomb from Monster Dragon, so he needs to take this this maze path out. Uh, if, he, if he has one extra power bomb to spare, he can actually take... Uh, there's a shortcut, intended shortcut you can take, saving a, a, a good number of seconds. But th that's the ammo management we were, talk we were talking about. Um, if he managed his ammo correctly, uh, right there, there were uh, about like six or seven seconds of free time save for him. So just a lot of things to consider when running this game. So many subtleties. Yeah. Your brain always has to be, you know, kind of chugging. You can't just kind of autopilot during the run. You just tried by John. Yeah, with screw attack, oh. it's not difficult. Yeah, and it's, it's this speed ball that matters. Oh, okay, he has so much speed. So that speed ball was probably like frame perfect if you had to get it. I should try again. <laughs> try to get it. Um, that probably lost a, just a little bit of time. This PY itself saves four seconds. Who remembers Black Elite John? There's only French Lightning John now. Well, uh, although their their next final destination will be to uh, Golden Four, and uh, if you watch any person runs, you will know that the optimal path to Golden Four is actually through. But uh, neither runners will be doing that because um, they still have to fight. Uh, the Fable Sports Spawn. So they will be, they'll have to take this uh, this rather unorthodox routing in uh, Green Green Star. And the next room in particular coming up for Andrew, I think is one of the hardest rooms in this category to optimize. I tried a little bit, but let's see what strategy has. This room is really hard to optimize. Especially this crime. Okay, he, bon yeah, he bonks. Um, still, still pretty good. And probably do a cool. D-boost. Uh, yeah, make sure, okay. make sure you yeah, guys don't blank. <laughs> uh, yeah, you didn't quite, didn't quite like, get the D-boost, but actually with screw attack, D-boosting is, damage boosting is just harder because you have to manually break spin before uh, inputting the damage boost command. So that was a, that was still a pretty smooth thing, but um, if you do it very often, but it's, it's pretty crazy. Hardest boss fight incoming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Andrew, please don't fall through the door before, 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 uh, before oh, I've done that before. It sucks. You, you know that? Oh, man. Yeah. So there, there, there you go. That, that, that's a cozy, very cozy one round of a uh, sports battle who otherwise will be just, who's otherwise very tricky to even two round. And the next room for Andrew is a cool one. Let's see. Want to? Uh, there's a cool strat here. You want to? Oh, nice. There you go. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And and, and this climb. Yeah, this, this not blink. This climb is also really cool. Uh, you didn't get the ball jump, but uh... yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can do that climb. They're all actually around the same speed, so it's a cool little room. Yeah. Um... But then uh, the speed booster strats uh, Andrew did in the in the room earlier. There's there the the floors are the grounds are actually booster blocks. So if you just charge a, if you just do a, if you just hold run uh, minus you actually you actually fall and have to visit the animal. <laughs> so it's that was actually some uh, very cool speed booster manipulation strategy did. While John. Uh, uh, while, while, while Andrew waits out this uh, 50, 50 second cutscene, let's take a look at John's movement. Coming to the same room, uh, same green green star. 
Yeah, this room, is, this room is actually kind of yeah. difficult too because you gotta space jump in the right way or else you'll bonk like that. And I think after you can just like get through a door, right? Or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maintain all the momentum. Like that, those oh, are just six, hard. six. Yeah, six traps. Uh, jump. Okay, jump, jump bonk in the same place. That, 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 that particular jump I find is just very, very tricky. And he might do this D-boost. Nice. And some stuff. Pretty good room. He, 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 also, he also jumps to uh, fix that door transition. Which, uh, which is just uh, like micro optimizations as well. And uh, now Andrew's heading to one of the hardest segments in all of Super Metroid, in any category really. That was uh, that was a sick Metroid room one. Um, he he did the, he did the strat to pick up many uh, ammo drops, um, but these Metroids you have to freeze them and shoot a super missile to kill them and but in super metro you actually have to select your items so like uh for every uh ice ice beam to super missile uh, maneuver you actually, there are so many inputs you have to do so oh it's much if, harder than that. if he doesn't get a super drop i think he won't be able to finish oh. uh well he does have 20 missiles so i suppose he'll be fine okay yeah that's fine the first two rooms, they didn't drop him anything. He only had five yeah, seconds get, and it was gonna get a little rough. He get really unlucky. Yeah, this is this is rough. Uh, if he if one of the supers gets eaten by Mother Brain, I think he's uh that's a that's a soft lock. If he does Zeb skip, yeah. Yeah. This is basically fifteen ten. Uh-huh. Let's see. Baby skip. Incoming. Uh, does one extra jump for safety? Very, very cool. nice. Yeah, I only very lost deep. like a second there. I compared to your absolutely optimal baby skip uh, with El Supremo, or or or, um, or, or, or the, the optimal one that's humanly possible. Okay, he so so Andrew chooses to uh, refill for uh, for safety. Yeah, he only I had he 18 missiles. I I don't think uh, so. If I, you, you he had to hit um, Mother Brain with all of his missiles and uh, super, so he had to refill. I, I see. I see. Not sure his safety save. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a thinking twice. Okay, oh, no, just so trying to get somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see a strat. Oh wait, wait. He he, he he keeps just oscillating back and forth between the strats. This is the uh yeah the easy ice skip uh ice skip ice skip that he did, um which doesn't work with uh, with screw attack also. He had to un unequip it, but for um a screw attack doesn't really save any time unless you're you're unless it's handle condition and you have spring ball because screw attack allows you to do this uh strat called uh. Put a bomber. He escaped. But that was a pretty safe, uh, a safe way to play it for Andrew. Beat Mother Brain one with no problem. So I think uh, he's all set to go. Meanwhile, John uh, going through the metro rooms to some grouping strats too. Uh, so grouping strats are, are in general easier to execute and. Uh, they're very consistent, and they also save ammo, so it's a good option. And for John, the Metroids do cooperate, so he has no worry for his ammo whatsoever. Yeah, this is like uh, 52 or 53 probably for Andrew, so pretty good time. That's, that's a good time indeed. What else, uh, maybe, maybe Metro is good for John. I don't know, the skips look pretty simple, you're just doing some jumps. They are actually very delicate, and you are just constantly manipulating baby's movement, so. 
Yeah, it took Very a pretty solid. save. Yeah. I feel pretty fast. I think he did one extra jump compared to Andrew. He doesn't have to refill due to the Metroid's cooperating. All right, now it's time for the mother brain skip, and then John can uh, bring it back. Oh yeah, yeah, easy, easy. Let's let's see it, John. <laughs> this is the down back. Okay, this is the down back skip, but it's a uh, backup. Uh, so you, you notice that John did the baby uh, the Zerdai skip side differently. He did not un unequip his screw attack. So that's one menu that he just saved there. That's three, probably three seconds. Uh, yeah, mid -mid and then also, um, if you have screw attack, it helps in escape. I think it speeds up uh, Leah Dock's room by like half a second, maybe a little less, but yeah. And, uh, okay, so now John needs, needs, needs Andrew to mess up this Mother Brain 3 to catch up, but he doesn't. Nah, yeah, so, he had a really yeah. solid... I think he only missed one shot. No, yeah, that was really good. He, yeah. yeah, it's just one shot missed. That's, that's, you, you can't really ask for better. I just hit by some audio rings. Um, even though he does have 444 energy, you actually need a minimum of 300 to survive, to beat Mother Brain 2. And, uh, oh, he, he does it. Andrew, he escaped. Escape is actually um, the escape isn't very difficult except for this this room right here, the Olaf's room and the partner. So he's doing the yeah some some uh, some good movement and if you have a if you have moonwalk enabled, that last moonfall in the game is actually rather tricky because you are just because it's kind of like a blind move moonfall. You you uh, you run from uh, like the danger is off screen and you just have to time it, but. Yeah, and then also the screen is rumbling and you got explosions in your face. And it's at the end of a run too, and you're probably, on, if you're on good pace, you know. So there's a lot of factors that could totally mess that up. Well, Parter does strike again a little bit. Um, Andrew missing two jumps. There's a bit of time, but you know, at this point you can take it easy. So he's going to get a 51, huh? It seems. Oh, yeah. Gets good seat that... pattern. And... Good time. GG. for Andrew, that's a, that's a very solid time. Very solid. It's probably a PB, too. Now, now John just has to finish, finish strong. See how the mother brings fight calls. Oh, one thing, one thing worth noting is that the world record route actually is different from uh, what the two runners did today. It's actually the phaser route. But, uh, details. Spazer route's only like 20 seconds slower optimally, so it's not that much slower. Pretty clean modern brain three, trying to bomb the eye. There you go, there you go. Ah, that may, may have been a pixel as well, but. A fr frame perfect trick to place bomb at the center of modern brain's eye, so. It's kind of hard. Let's see, if John, let's see if John does anything interesting. Ah, he doesn't. There's, a, there's an amorphous strat you can do in that room, saving 0.3 seconds. Oh, oh sorry, 0.2 seconds. It's rather minor. And let's see, it's the deal actually. With screw attack, you see a junk can just um, just destroy all the all the pirates uh, with, with with much ease. He does a jump setup to get the move fall. Um, the jump setup obviously losing him a, a little bit of time, but the move fall itself saves roughly 1.5 seconds if I remember correctly. So it's still worth it to to do a setup as long as you can nail the move fall. A nice behemoth spark. Both runners did it. Yeah, first shot. <laughs> We're giving John a little bit of trouble too. The screen shaking really adds a uh, as complexity to an already complex room. 
and he does get good steam patterns too. So oh, GG John. Yeah. I think that's a PB for him too. Really, <laughs> really. Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% on that, but GG. You do both. Very solid runs for for both runners. Okay, for Andrew Low, the, the ocean was probably the the one biggest source of um, oh yeah. Time off. I think yeah, I he know, could I have gone sub fifty for sure. I think so. I think so. Otherwise, strong run, strong performance. So um. I don't quite know how this uh, get them into interview. Let's see. Uh. What's up, John? What's up, John? Hello. GG on the race, man. Thank GG you. on the race. Ah, oh, it was it was something that race. Uh, I, I think I think you were most worried about. Uh, I forget you, but you were most worried about Green Gate glitch, right? But pretty yes, well. I was. I was really worried about Gate Green Gate glitch, but I, with how I move all around, I was less worried because I oh. I feel I, I didn't play my best. But I still this. I don't know how I managed to to PB by that time. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I feel like overall that was a that was a solid solid gameplay. Maybe, maybe Dragon and Fantoon. Um, maybe Dragon, yeah, was the biggest uh, was the single biggest um, roadblock. But otherwise, I think I think that was a very well executed. You basically got everything. Any any, uh, any thoughts on your uh, uh, on this race or on this category? Uh, any thoughts? Uh, it's it's a the category is pretty fun, but it's still it's still any person with a, with a little experience. So the little extra make it. Oh please, 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 yeah. please yeah. don't 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 say that in front of like hundreds of viewers. My thoughts not, was not yeah. So uh, my thoughts principally was uh, more on. On the green gate glitch and uh, movements wise, I was not. I, I knew I would lose with Vincent Drew, Drew since he's a really great player. So, if you still put up a good show, uh, yeah. you nail. We, 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 those were exciting. Those were exciting to see. Uh, you, did you, you get like you got high, um, horizontal bomb jump first try? You got mo. No, I got, I got a second try. Yeah. Oh, you got second try. Yep. I mean, it was better than Andrew. So, Sorry, that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. So you had you had good points in the run. And uh, and, and, and Andrew actually chose to do the statue, uh, the asset statue run, which I, I was actually surprised to see you not go for it. But uh, you, you were able to showcase uh, both options there. So. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to go for the statue route, but I was like, I, I have nothing to lose at that point. Even if I had to go all the way around with the statue, and how far he was, and I was like. Uh, we'll, I will just go for uh, the green gate glitch. I, at first, I, I wanted to go for the statue when I began the the race, but uh, uh, with the more it advanced, the less good I was playing. I was like, nah, I don't think I need to to go the, the safe right way. Yeah, and, uh, and and obviously taking that risk really helped you. That was, that was a that was a cool show. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um. Exactly. Any last thoughts in the future yeah. races, you know? Uh, John? Yes? Oh, any, uh, any, any thoughts on future races? Uh, any thoughts on future race? Uh, I, I don't... I, I'm taking it uh, step by step, so I'm, I'm like... <laughs> Pra pra you need. You, I will just need to practice my movement, my consistency on everything. So, the, so the next race, I, I won't do that that much mistake. Because for me, I I think I did do a lot of mistake. I, I shall have not done. So it will be for for my tough on the next race will be to practice to at least 
get a decent run. Yeah, it's tough with the multi-category tournament because there's so many you know categories that you have to practice, so it can get jumbled up and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's why I'm thinking of at practicing the just the movement overall. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it really, really helps for for virtually any kind of category of Super Metro. It's I feel like it's less uh, it's less about the tricks than the actual movements that makes this game so so difficult. Um, just just be around. Uh, so maybe next week there is an any person RBO and uh, some other category three. Oh, 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 triple bingo. So I actually don't know if you have any experience with, with RBO. So I, I was thinking you might veto that, but then I see there's any. So I actually don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> uh, which category are you looking forward to running? RBO, any, and triple bingo. To, to be honest, would be more uh, any percent. Uh, I will oh, look man. up. Yeah. But there's also RBU. I never done the run of RBU, but I kind of <laughs> want to do my first run in the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that, that's what that's what this tournament has uh, come to offer. Like many runners have uh, have, have uh, picked up categories that, that that are that are not any person or hundo. So excited to see uh, you put your hands on RBU and uh, good luck on your future races. It was really, really fun coming to your race today. Thank you. I think that'll, that'll do it for yeah, us. That's it. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to follow the runners. All, all the runners. All the runners. Yeah. All great people. Both great runners. And uh, see you guys next mission. Yeah.